I'm Buppy. Hey, what's up? It's Eleanor Kingston. And you're watching The Music Enthusiast. Hi, I'm Sarah from The Music Enthusiast, and today I'm here with Buppy and Eleanor Kingston. How are you guys? Hello. I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm so happy to be talking to you guys. You guys are like one of my favorite si siblings ever. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> No problem. So, I mean, being siblings, do you guys have any fondest musical memories, whether it was growing up or now? Um, yeah, I think I can speak on that. Um, I think one of my fondest memories of um, us in music, um, honestly, would have to be when I performed in Salt Lake um, last, it was a, uh, maybe two weeks ago. I don't know. Don't, don't quote me on that. But uh, yeah, I was in Salt Lake performing uh, at a venue called The Loading Dock, and uh, Eleanor flew out from L.A. and was front row, and it was just a very, uh, very cute thing. She knew every word. Um, a lot of my hometown friends were there, too, so it was just very, like, and then she hopped on stage, said a few words, <laughs> said some kind words, uh, urging people to buy merchandise, but <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was nice. It was, it was all love. Urging people and, to buy uh, yeah, that's probably one of my fondest memories so far. Um, I don't know if you also want to speak on that or if, if we should limit it to one answer, but. Um. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a great answer. I think uh, mine is just in general. It's really cool because the producer that we work with, I started working with first, and then the director that we work with for our music videos, he started working with first. Yeah. So what was like one of my fondest memories kind of is like just the moment it all came together when he like he started working with my producer and I started working with his director um, and it, things just kept like clicking and then now it's like a group which is really cool. Who got into music first? <laughs> uh, thank you. Technically me yeah. um, but seriously like actually dropping and putting out music and exploring like the business side um, where people like you reside and like those press outlets reside her. Cause I was only doing it like um, on like SoundCloud. Um, at first I was doing it on nothing. I was just making it for like my Twitch streams. Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. yeah, like she got into it seriously. That kind of provoked me getting into it seriously. She taught me what like distro kid, CD baby, all that was, which is like the first distribution I was ever on. <laughs> um, so yeah, technically a little bit of both. Okay. Okay. Usually it's like the older sibling. So like I was, I'm sort of surprised. Yeah. She wanted to be a, she, she can speak on Yeah. That, I but. wanted to be an actress for a really long time. So I was always like in LA exploring the entertainment industry and music was always like where my heart lied but I like I guess my love for acting and my like I, I always felt kind of that my love for music was like a secret like I was secretly <laughs> loved music and made music and then like I finally decided to just you know put it out for the world and that's when I like knew that this is exactly what I want to do so amazing and um what was the first album you guys ever bought Ooh, like uh, physically bought in terms of like gotten the vinyl or just um, like iTunes type type vibe. Either or whichever one you could remember. I mean, you had the iTunes era. I didn't really <laughs> yeah, I vibe with that. My iTunes era was a lot of like Maroon Five. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! But, and like the Fray and the Script and Michael Jackson for the longest time. I've always loved Michael Jackson. Um, yeah, I also like Kesha um, was like my vibe, Britney Spears. That's when I grew up. So all of like those albums, yeah. All great ones. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I ever used like iTunes because um, I'm, I'm just young for that. Uh, I think I missed the wave there. But the first vinyl I ever bought was uh, Louis Armstrong, CS Saban, uh, and it has a uh, uh la vie on rose on it um uh and yeah that was the first uh, mm -hmm. album i ever bought and yeah it's a good one 
that is oh my god i remember i had to buy like the songs for like a dollar each and like the albums i had to get like itunes gift cards it was like horrible back when people got paid to make music that was that was a beautiful time i think yeah exactly (laughs) um but let's talk about the new song i mean this is your first collaboration together so how does it feel it for it to be like out into the world feels great yeah i mean I don't know. How does it feel for you? I feel great. <laughs> it feels really Hopefully good. Hopefully it feels great on that side. It's really fun because, yeah, like being siblings and releasing a song about our mom just feels really special. And yeah. then also um, just like I haven't put out a song with anybody else mm-hmm. ever in my yeah, career. So, so, yeah, and neither has Buffy. So it's kind of just really special to put out like our first song that we know we want to like promote and have with another artist on the track it's it feels really special because sometimes when you're releasing a song by yourself it's like you and your business team and your creative team and then when you introduce another person's business team and another person's creative team it's like a really special experience um the whole journey like you have to compromise and like listen to somebody else's ideas and thoughts and on the same track so finally having that out, I like see how everything come came together with his ideas and his vision and how people loved what he brought to the table as well as what I brought to the table. It was like, yeah. really special. Yeah, I've had like compliments. I think that's the cool thing. It's like I've had people compliment me and then I've had people be like, oh, your sister has such a crazy voice. And mm-hmm. it's like, oh, it's cool. You know, like, yeah. it's, it's cool to have that on the same track. But Yeah, especially because you guys – your own music separately they're like different genres and this like mixes yeah. them both up together so what was that process like it's funny because we have the same producer so like yeah. the, the genre differential i think just comes in like our stylistic differences and then kind of our producer kind of paves the lane to the genre more so than than we are necessarily like uh, I don't think I've ever came into a studio session with anyone being like, I want to make a pop track or like, I want to make a indie pop track. Like it's never happened. Um, but yeah, I, I think the process of that one was like, I had a little demo. Um, it was on just some guys instrumental and, and it was, uh, nothing like to my mama really. And I just had that first little section of the verse where it's like, and so my mama, I thank you for the most. And I had just that written that like first part. Mm-hmm um none of the chorus and so then I kind of like played that and we were thinking about just kind of like themes that would be cool between a sibling you know a sister Mm -hmm. and a brother and I was like wait we've never no one's ever done something with the their mom you know like with so I was like let's do it at the time we were around Mother's Day too Mm -hmm. Um, and that was like the original rollout was like hopefully immediately we can get this out for Mother's Day Mm -hmm. um which didn't happen Mm -hmm. but uh yeah, essentially the the collaboration from there was just we laid down that um, Cole started producing. Um, we wanted like a kind of like organy, kind of crashing chorus. So then we wrote like that that to my mama. Um, now we've made it chorus, and uh, yeah, that was like our kind of our collaborative process. Her verse came together really fast. She was I think writing it while I was writing my part of the chorus. Oh, wow. And yeah, the, the chorus melodies are the same between me and her. So she mm-hmm. kind of just wrote into the melody that I mm. made. But yeah, it was pretty, pretty fast writing, to be honest. Mm. The, the, record, the recording is what, um, the recording and writing was probably one of the, the fastest of any song I did. The mm-hmm. production was a little bit um, slower than the other songs, but it was great. Mm-hmm. And like you said before, it was a Mother's Day gift. So, I mean, what was her reaction like? Obviously, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think we kind of boofed it, to be honest. She she loved it. She loves it. And she she I think she when it got on Spotify, like mm-hmm. her real reaction was like, really, she, like she was texting us all night. Like, but mm-hmm. when we showed it to her, it was like a demo, demo, like super demo, like yeah. no mix demo like it was pretty rough <laughs> so i think she was like oh okay you know i don't know I, not a lot of people can see past like a demo versus what it's going to become you know and uh, i don't think she's one of those people so i think uh yeah i think she was just like oh okay but yeah, that one it was cute i had like uh 
you know, because artists on TikTok do all like the fake reactions, like yeah. showing my boyfriend for the first time. And like, for some reason, everyone they know is like a really good actor because it always looks real. But I had my mom do like a fake crying one to our song. And it was so cringy. She was just like, <laughs> like and I still posted it. As a joke, but... <laughs> but I love that. <laughs> yeah, when it came out, she loved it. She loved it. Okay, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, and do you guys remember like what the first, the very first idea for this song was? Was it like a specific lyric or a beat? Yeah, it was just that first little mm-hmm. verse where it was uh, to my mama. I thank you for the most. Okay. I prefer a song over temporary toast. So I grabbed upon my pen, took a note out, and I wrote this pouring out my heart because you taught me that's where home is. That's like where we started was that first because I like first four bars was like some of the best writing I think I've done in in any song. So, Mm. yeah. Yeah. Again. (laughs) Yeah. And this song is amazing again. Um, But I mean, what's coming next for you guys? Ooh. Um, You want to speak first on that? Yeah. (laughs) Oh, man. So many new things. I have a few, a couple more songs that are still in like more of the pop lane just to get my fans used to what I'm going to next which is uh, more alternative and indie uh, and rock I'm like experimenting a lot with the rock genre um so I'm trying to mix um like lo-fi chill with rock and (laughs) a little bit of hip-hop so that's kind of what I'm working on right now um and that'll start rolling out around October um and until then I have a couple more like more boppy tracks that I'm going to put out um and uh yeah I'm, I'm the next year I think a lot of singles just it's just new a new vibe and and like uh experiment just very experimental as far as I go um I have a single coming out in uh September That'll be the next one, September, like, first week. And uh, I don't know if you know the China Blue, but he okay. might or might not be on it. Okay. Um, and uh, then I have um, another single, Solo. And then I have, at the end of the year, a uh, little exclusive for anyone who makes it this far in this video, <laughs> a documentary uh, that's going to be 20 minutes, and it's going to drop at the end of this year. Um, and it's just going to detail, like, my move to get out to L.A. and such. And then perhaps a debut EP next year. Who okay. knows? They don't know yet, but <laughs> you might know now. You so. might. That's <laughs> for both of you guys. Also, Eleanor, are you wearing Buppy's clothing line? Yeah, I'm wearing Buppy's merch. <laughs> <laughs> shout, shout out, out shout out the nice. support. Shout out the support. No, it's great. It, fit, it fits well. It fits nice, it's comfy. We like it. <laughs> Shout out, <that's> um, <laughs> um, and these are some fun questions for you guys. Um, first one, what is your favorite song of each other's? Ooh, this is fun. No. My favorite song of hers is unreleased, um, actually. <laughs> but my favorite song that's out is um, probably Pink Things, honestly. I really like Pink okay. Things. Uh, I like Tell Me You're Sorry a lot. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's underrated. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's underrated. underrated. And if you guys could perform on any planet, which one would it be and why? Oh, sick. Uh, any planet? Yes. Perform or? Oh, wow. Was it, you say perform on any planet? Yeah. Um, Mars for me. Mars, just like Mars. hot and like. Hot, hot, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know, like probably Jupiter. Okay. Or Saturn, like on, on the rings. Mm-hmm. Just like flying around the rings or something. I don't know. <laughs> something like that. That sounds so cool. And what is your comfort TV show? <laughs> Comfort TV show. Mm-hmm. I mean, she has one. I know that for a fact. Like, oh, I like <laughs> Twilight. Uh, I've been watching Twilight, the movies. Oh, oh, yeah. 
for the past few days, I'm getting a little crazy over it. Like I've stayed up till 5 a.m. three nights in a row watching Twilight. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really watched TV in a long time, but um, I don't know. I like BoJack Horseman a lot. Mm-hmm. It's like probably the last series of TV show I watched like religiously. But yeah. Those are great ones. And what is the best show you've ever attended? A uh, concert? Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, so honestly, I think there's two in my mind. I saw Billie Eilish oh um, with with Denzel Curry as an opener. Mm-hmm. And that was at like her, like one of her first tours where she was like really popping. And she didn't play a venue that sold out. Like that's how early it was. But mm-hmm. her and Phineas did um, some, some unreleased song and it was just killer. And that concert was really good. Denzel Curry did really well too. Um, and then I think the other one, I saw Flatbush Zombies. I don't know if you know who they are, but I saw them when I was like younger, 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 when I was like super inspired by rap music. And they sold out this venue that like hadn't been sold out before pretty much. And that one was just insane. It was like crazy. I had to leave early. It was the craziest concert I've ever been to in my life. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, I as well. Uh, one of them is Halsey. She performed at the um, at the Staples Center uh, for the basketball game, one of the finals, and not a lot of people knew who she was, I guess, because it was like more of a basketball event and less of a concert. Yeah. Um, but she, I knew her, and I was <laughs> singing like every lyric, and she knew that I was singing every lyric because there weren't a lot of people singing every lyric. And so it was fun. Like she did like she she like pointed at me and like we sang together for a part of her song and that was really special to me because she's a huge reason I make music. Um and then the other one, Edward, I dragged Edward to when he was really young. <laughs> it was Taylor Swift's nineteen eighty nine tour, which is a yeah. phenomenal album. And she had Vance Joy and Sean Mendez that was crazy. open for her. And some other <laughs> so <laughs> it was a stacked concert and it was true really Vance Joy killed it he's really good on stage yeah. he's really good on stage yeah Taylor Swift was my first ever concert I think for the Speak Now tour Us really too, no. yeah, I mean, mine, was, mine for sure that was my first yeah stadium concert I think yeah oh my god I love that <laughs> um, last first. question who are your favorite up and coming artists right now I love this question. You should ask everyone this question. That's my favorite question you've asked me. Um, I have so many. Um, there's a guy named Dobie, D-O-B-I. Yes. Nobody, I mean, if you're like a producer in the kind of like um, the the new like kind of hyper area, I'm not even going to put pop on it, just hyper, like that area of like pitching stuff and if you're a producer in there, you'll probably know who I'm talking about, but um, super reserved kid out of Salt Lake City. Uh, he will be in your sights soon. If he's not right now, he dropped one song called Peace Treaty um, that I helped him put out. And it's it's a wonderful record. If you do listen to it, I promise you, you will like it. Um, other than him, I love Dev Soder a lot. I love Haji Gaviata a lot. I love uh, China Blue a lot. Um, Mirage is sick. I think Belle, I just saw Belle in concert, Belle, um, B-E-L. Um, she was at like a bar like three minutes that way. So I saw her in concert. She's great. Um, I'm trying to think of a few more that I like before I get cut off. Uh, I like, uh, oh yeah, the other ones I like is, um, God, why am I spacing on their name right now? Uh, Brevin Kim is like probably my favorite right now. Yeah, I we were at their house the other night. Like great, great dudes, even better dudes in person. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, and I I think their whole crew like they have a few people who work on their records, and they're all really talented. Mm-hmm. Kel Bender, um, Joe, uh, yeah, they're really talented people. Amazing, yeah. those are great. And you? Okay, so I don't know if you'd consider her up and coming right now but i think she still is uh i don't know if you know flo millie she's uh the female rap artist i think she deserves to be really really successful i think she's a phenomenal artist um and then i love kenji he's a good friend of ours his music is always so so amazing 
And then uh, this guy, Connor John, he actually dropped like a few bangers in 2019 and then hasn't released so far. So I'm still like since, so I'm waiting <laughs> for him to return. Um, I like him a lot. And uh, yeah, Brev and Kim, they're amazing. Yeah. Um, everyone Buffy named is so, so talented. Also Dakota, also Sabrina yeah. Lee. Also, some other folk that I really like, but <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna shut up because I go forever. Uh. Yeah, those are great. Uh, thank, you. thank you so much for chatting with me. It was so fun to get yeah, you to meet you, Eleanor, and so fun to get to talk nice to you. Meet you. <laughs> thank you for having us. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much.